Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. This is Claudia Monacelli, also known as Christelle Martinet. Today I'm honored to bring you another session where I will again channel the spirit of Sai Baba of Shirdi, who has come to me recently. And before introducing him and his accomplishments, I want to take a moment to explain the different forms of mediumship and the approach that I use during these sessions. There generally are three types of mediumship, physical mediumship, mental mediumship, and deep trans mediumship. So the physical mediumship involves uh, the medium enabling spirit entities to manifest physically. And this can include a range of phenomena, uh, voices, touches, the appearance of spirits, but it often requires a lot of energy and specific conditions to occur successfully, not in uh, giving me the possibility of recording. There's also mental mediumship, which I practice here when recording, because it involves communications with spirits mentally. In this form of mediumship, I receive messages, thoughts, and impressions from the spirit world through my mind. And these communications can come in the form of images, feelings, words, or even direct knowing. This allows me uh, to offer a more subtle, um, a more subtle and personal connection with the spirits. Uh, that I seek to communicate with. And the last is deep trans mediumship, which is a state where a person completely lets go and allows a spirit to talk through them. Now, uh, for obvious reasons, I won't do that because I won't be able to record it at the same time. But I must remind everyone that this session is pre-recorded. And as always, I approach it with the utmost respect and sincerity. So let's begin. First, let me introduce um, Sai Baba of Shirdi for those of you who don't know uh, uh, him. Honoring and understanding the life and teachings of Sai Baba of Shirdi brings, me, uh, brings us to describe uh, Sh uh, Sh Sai Baba as a revered spiritual master whose teachings transcended the boundaries of religion, of caste, and of creed. He's a figure of immense love, of immense wisdom and compassion, whose influence continues to inspire millions around the world. His early life was shrouded in mystery. While there's little known about his birth and origins, it's believed that he was born around 1838 but the details of, our, of, of his birth date and place still remain uncertain. Sai Baba lived, um, arrived in a village of Shirdi, the village of Shirdi in Maharashtra, India, as a young man. And it was here that he spent the majority of his life spreading the message of love and unity. Sai Baba lived a very simple and humble life in Shirdi, often residing in a dilapidated mosque um, he called Dwarkami, Dwarkami. And despite no, having no possessions of his own, he became a beacon of hope and solace for countless devotees who flocked to him for guidance and healing. His teachings were rooted in the principles of love, of compassion, and selfless service. He emphasized the importance of faith and patience as the cornerstones of, of spiritual growth. His messages often bridged the gap between Hinduism and Islam, promoting harmony and mutual respect among different religious communities. Um, he was renowned for his miracles and healing powers, withdrew people from far and wide. Many of his devotees experienced miraculous recoveries from illnesses, protection from dangers, and resolution of personal issues through his blessings. These miracles reinforced their faith and um, their devotion to him. Um, <laughs> For some reason, things are moving around here. Uh, Sai Baba's universal appeal lies in his ability to 
connect with people from all walks of life. He spoke in a very simple, a very direct uh, manner. He used parables and anecdotes to convey very profound spiritual truths. His teachings continue to resonate with people of various uh, faiths and backgrounds, emphasizing the commonalities that unite us all. He left his mortal body in 1918, but his presence and teachings remain ever present in the hearts of his devotees. Sai Baba, the Sai Baba Temple in Shirdi, known as Samadhi Mandir, is a major pilgrimage site attracting millions of visitors each year. His teachings are compiled in texts like Sai Sacharitra, which serve as a source of inspiration and guidance. Now, uh, his teachings and his life remind us of the power of love, the power of faith, and the power of unity. And as we prepare to channel this spirit, his spirit, let us open our hearts and minds to receive his wisdom and guidance. Sai Baba, we welcome you and we seek your blessings. I will use his photo to cover me so I don't see my face and this strange writing here. I have a turn moving it around here. Um, so I will be working in this way. Here you go. So before we begin, let us take a moment to center ourselves. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and feel the connection to the divine energy all around us. We invite the spirit of Sai Baba to join us today to share his wisdom and guidance for the highest good of all those present. Sai Baba, we welcome you with open hearts and minds. I sense the presence of Sai Baba. He's here with us now. Sai Baba, thank you for joining us. We have some questions from viewers that you have always known about and you know their questions because they ask you directly. Please offer us some guidance in this sense. Many people speak about spiritual growth in their lives. They want to know from me what I can do to guide them when they are lost on their spiritual journey. Spiritual growth is a journey of the heart. Seek to purify your thoughts, your actions and intentions. Surrender to the divine and practice selfless service. True growth comes from within by loving everyone and seeing the divine in all beings. Patience and perseverance will light your path. But you ask. Life often presents us with many challenges. How can we best overcome these challenges but remain resilient? Challenges you know are and should know are opportunities for growth. Embrace them with courage and faith. Trust in the divine plan and know 
that every hardship carries a lesson. Focus on inner peace and let go of fear. Remember, I am always with you. Keep faith and obstacles will turn into stepping stones. I need to talk about the importance of love and unity among all people and how to cultivate more love and unity in today's world. Love, again, the word love always emerges. Love is the essence of existence. To cultivate love and unity, start by loving yourself and extending that love to others unconditionally. Practice empathy and understanding. Break down barriers of religion, of caste and creed. See the divine in everyone and treat each other with respect and kindness. Together we can create a world of harmony. Many people struggle to find their true purpose in life. I can help you because your true purpose is to realize the divine within you. Engage in activities that bring joy and fulfillment. Serve others selflessly and you will find meaning in your actions. Listen. Listen carefully to your inner voice and follow your heart's calling. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be and your purpose will re reveal itself in time. There is turmoil, much turmoil, and it is necessary to achieve and maintain peace, inner peace, in your daily lives. Inner peace comes from surrendering to the divine will. Surrender to the divine will and comes from living in the present moment. Practice meditation and mindfulness. Let go of attachment to material desires and outcomes. Focus on gratitude and contentment. Remember that true peace is found within, not in external circumstances. I know there are many among you today 
that struggle with fear and anxiety. 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 You ask how is it possible to find peace amidst these feelings? Fear and anxiety arise from a lack of trust in the divine plan. Surrender your worries to the divine and at the same time cultivate peace and cultivate faith. It's very important to engage in regular prayer and meditation to center your mind. Focus on the present moment and remind yourself that you are never alone. The divine is always with you guiding you and protecting you. Embrace love over fear and peace will follow. I now want to speak of karma and forgiveness. Many believe there is a role of karma in their lives, but find it hard to protect, profess forgiveness and practice forgiveness. Karma is the law of cause and effect where every action has consequences. It is essential to understand that your thoughts, your words, your deeds, and actions shape your future. Please listen again. Your, your thoughts Words and deeds shape your future. Practice kindness and compassion to create positive karma. Forgiveness is a powerful tool to break the cycle of negative karma. Let go. Let go. Let go of resentment. Let go of grudges. For they only harm you. Forgiving others and yourself frees your soul and allows you to progress spiritually. I need better to speak of material wealth and spirituality. There is a need for balance in the pursuit of material wealth and spiritual growth. Material wealth is not inherently wrong, but it should not be the sole focus of your life. Use your resources wisely for the benefit of others. Share your blessings and practice charity, spiritual growth, should always be your priority because it brings true fulfillment and peace. 
balance your world, worldly pursuits with spiritual practices and remember that inner wealth is far more valuable than outer riches. Perhaps the most important message I need to give you is on relationships and harmony. How can you maintain harmonious relationships with family and friends? Relationships thrive on mutual respect, understanding and love. Communicate openly and honestly with your loved ones. Practice empathy and put yourself in their shoes. Resolve conflicts with patience and again with forgiveness. Do not let ego and pride create distance between you. Your relationships need to be nurtured with care because they are a reflection of the divine love within you. What is the purpose of life? Let me explain about life's purpose and dharma. How can you discover your life's purpose and fulfill your dharma? Your life's purpose or dharma is unique to you and is aligned with your soul's journey. To discover it, listen to your inner voice and follow what brings you joy and fulfillment. Engage in selfless service and contribute to the well-being of others. Your purpose will become clear as you align your actions with your higher self. Remember that every role you play, whether big or small, is significant in the grand tapestry of life. There are spiritual practices and meditation that will be beneficial to you. Especially, I recommend these for seeking deeper connection with the divine. Meditation is a powerful practice for connecting with the divine. You sit in silence and focus on your breath or a sacred mantra. Regular prayer and chanting of divine names also elevate your consciousness. Engage in acts of selfless service because serving others is serving God. Read and reflect on spiritual texts to gain wisdom. Maintain a pure heart, a pure heart and intention in all of your practices and the divine presence will reveal itself to you. Of course, life's cycle brings grief and loss. It is necessary 
to meditate on this? How can you cope with grief and loss of a loved one? These are part of the human experience, grief and loss. And it is natural to feel sorrow. Allow yourself to grieve and honor the memories of your loved one. Trust that their soul is in the care of the divine and continues its journey. Seek solace in prayer and meditation. Surround yourself with supported and loving people. Know that the loved one you shared transcends physical existence and remains a connection between souls. Over time, healing will come and the pain will transform into memories that are cherished. I have ended my communication with you. Thank you, Sai Baba, for sharing your profound wisdom and guidance with us. Your teachings continue to uplift us and inspire us. Before we close, do you have any final messages for us? Live with love, compassion, and humility. Trust in the divine and know that I am always with you, guiding and protecting you. May you all find peace and happiness on your journey. Om Sai Ram. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us in this sacred session. Remember to carry Sai Baba's teachings in your hearts and apply them in your daily lives. If you have further questions um, or wish to connect again, uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for our next session. Until then, may you be blessed with love and light. Om Sai Ram. And to everyone watching, your support allows me to continue bringing you these messages. If you found this session helpful and enlightening, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And write to me below the video. It's a pleasure to connect with you. Um, if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see in future sessions, feel free to comment down below. And as always, stay blessed and stay connected to the light within you. Until next time, this is Claudia Monicelli, also known as Christelle Martinet. Take care and stay well. Bye-bye.